Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode five of the Valheim playthrough. Look at my character. I think in the last episode when I went live, I was saying that my character looked absolutely goggle because it just looked terrible with his like little shitty leather helmet. Today though, we're rocking the full troll hide. Not quite the cape though. We do need to get that cape today. But yesterday's episode, sorry, not yesterday's episode, but last episode, I spent about five billion hours. And by five billion hours, I mean about one. Basically earning myself bronze. Now I'm not gonna lie, bronze is horrible, man. I don't wanna mine a single one of those ever again. However, yeah, we also productively in the day without me realizing, actually got every single requirement or resource needed in order to actually make myself the upgraded fine wood bow, I think it was. If I get in the game now, I'll have a little gander what it is. Is it the fine wood bow? Uh, okay, I don't know what it is, but wait, is this? Yeah, fine wood bow, maxed out, level three absolutely delicious which means that this shitty crude bow can be sent into the ocean we don't need you anymore bro you're dead wait there brother okay the base is looking very bad but that's okay because we're not planning to upgrade the base anytime soon what we're going to be doing today is first of all we're going to be making a chest if I, what oh i wasted it right think 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 uh furniture chest build that'll do uh oh i think wait core wood fine wood i kind of need to mine some of that stuff to be honest right i've got all the shit already put in my chests let's put that in there 29 of those Later on, when I actually build the base, uh, this base, if you've just joined the video and you've never watched before, we're not actually building a proper base yet because we need to actually get a location to build the proper base, first of all. Is the dandelions in there? Yes. Strawberries? Yes. And when we do, I, what I did in the last game when I actually played is I alphabetical ordered everything. So I had a chest that was all the A items and I had a chest that was all the B items. And that worked quite well, I thought. I'm probably going to do that again on this one when we actually get to that stage of the game. And I don't know when that's going to be, but it won't be yet. Okay, today's goal, my friends, is one. We've sacrificed the bow to the uh, ocean gods. We're going to sacrifice this flint axe as well because we have this bronze one. Let's go see how much bronze I actually need. Oh, bro, it's just begging for the assassination. I need to wait for him to stop first. He just drowned himself, bro. I mean, that arrow wasn't meant to hit. I accidentally moved the mouse, but he just drowned himself. So, I think what I'm going to do is I don't really want to do... What's the word? I don't want to make much bronze because bronze is garbage. And when I get to iron, I get iron so much faster than I get everything else. So, that's kind of what I want to wait for. So, for now, I'm just going to burn a lot of logs and get as many charcoal as I can in getting ready for whatever I do next. But today's episode, we're going to be killing trolls. And we're also going to be doing... What was the other thing I needed to do? Um, how much bronze do I need first? Let's just check that straight away. Right, so don't need to upgrade anything. Bronze axe, no, because I'm going to get an iron one. There is no pickaxe, which is fine. Cultivator is probably something I need to make. So I need five more bronze for a cultivator. That's an important item to get. Ignoring all the bronze armor. Bronze nails, I don't think I want a boat yet, but that's not too bad. Bronze mace, I think I'll wait for iron before we upgrade that. Because I thought to myself, what's, what, how am I playing this game? I don't want to spend hours getting items I don't need. And I realized that the second boss requires a bow to kill. The third boss requires a pick, I mean, a mace. Now, the third boss, I actually mine a lot of iron. It's basically the bone mask guy in the swamp. So I'll make an iron mace to kill him. But I can use the bow I've got now, which is best in slot, to kill the second boss. Now, the second boss is all the way over here. So that's the plan. We're going to go roll over there and just see what we can achieve. However, I want to also see if I can actually upgrade anything right now. Because I think I can make something. Anvils. Anvils requires two wood, two bronze, five wood. I'm going to make that, actually, because I think I've got it. Is that bronze? Copper, four. And then two tin. That'll do. And then some wood. Right. Bronze bot. Another bronze bot. Six click anvils. I ain't got this yet. Again, just place it anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Woo. Wait. Did that not upgrade anything? Forge level two. Right. What does forge level two allow me to do? Can I make anything else? Or is it just upgrades? To be honest, I probably don't need that. I might be able to destroy that later. But I'll leave it there for now. All good. 
Right, I'm gonna sleep. I wasted my Ichthyre. I've got food, arrows. I'll make myself another few hours because I'm gonna need some to kill these trolls. And do I have the flint arrows? I think I might have deposited some or I just dropped them. If they're in a chest, I would have found them by now, so I definitely don't. So if I go to here and I'll make myself some arrows because we're gonna try and kill some trolls today. 91 will do. 16 fire arrows. I'm going to need some of those for the final, not the final boss, but the next boss. Repair the fine wood bow. Chest deposit. Right. Sleepy. Good night, my friends. Good night. Right. Troll hunting. We need to get some ancient seeds for the second boss. So we'll see how well we can do. In all honesty, no. Do I want to farm at night? I think I honestly should have actually ran at night. Right. 11 minute comfort bonus. That's good. And we're going to head directly southeast in this direction. And we ain't changing direction until I find something of value. I don't think I would... Oh, yeah, we need to find the merchant as well. So it's going to be a lot of exploration on this episode. Um, but mainly we're looking for trolls. Probably some of those little cavern things. Because the more... What are they called? The more like... Oh, I can make a cauldron as well, can't I? So let's start getting dandelions. Should probably check what secondaries I'm going to need, but thistles will come in handy. I might find draugers at some point. I don't know where they are. Draugers drop. Um, you can make sausages, which is a pretty good item. Like, my food isn't the best. I'm going to leave those. I can't be bothered. My food isn't the best, and I don't know how much more difficult my... Oh, wait, I just realized. Can I even get there? I might need a boat. I hope I don't. I can't be bothered making a boat just to sail across a tiny little piece of river. Why is this weird color? Crypt cleared. That's fine. That's good. Yeah, might need to mine some more of the copper, which is right here. Let's get all this resin. Oh, don't mind. Nice loot. Can I take that out? Yes, sir. What? No, baby. Yes, I just killed the moving deer, bro. Oh, I'm happy. Give me, give me, give me. I'll be checking that. But yeah, deer hides and all that. <clears throat> I think I need a lot of them later on for a um a boat that I'll have to make. But I need to go over... Th no, I'm facing the wrong way. I need to go in. So I don't need to do that, right? Let's just go in. Directly to the Elder. I'm not going to fight him yet. But I need to get, I think, three Ancient Seeds. And I think what we do... We don't need to kill much when we're in the Black Forest. We just run around, I guess, and try and spot Purple Light and Thistles. If we hunt for those, and then we find any um, Trolls as well, then that's good. And if we find the purple light... Wait. That's a troll cave. I've cleared that as well. I won't mark that because I should be able to remember. But now we're in new territory. See, this crypt has... it. Oh, God. Wait, hold on. Okay, low level, low level. This is fine. Oh, there's two here. One, two... Oh, that's easy. Ah, it's easy to kill these. I upgraded my mace, actually. Should be quite strong. Do I clear this out, though? Uh, I think right now, because it's daytime, I shouldn't. We'll come back and do this at nighttime. It's probably a good idea. And I might want to work on getting a rested bonus as well. So let's take this fir tree out. Get myself some uh, logs quickly and then get some stone. And I'm going to take these blueberries as well, because they might come in handy. Make sure the tree log don't land on us. If it does, then we die. And the playthrough is over. A blue banner. I should probably look into making some of that, because I actually get a slightly longer rested bonus. Rested bonus, it's not really... Oh, man, this is a death trap. Uh, I'm not a fan. What do you want? I'm busy. Don't you run at me and then just turn around and go back to your day. If you run at me, you're committed, mate. And now you're dead. Wood. Right, okay. So now I can make fires whenever I need. So I should probably get some... Oh, my God. Nice parry. And now die. Bone fragments. I don't know if I need this many. I've got so many of them now. At some point, it all becomes dead weight. Wait. Oh, damn it. Right, the elder's on the other side of this mountain. So let's just put, like, not cleared. I'll come back to that later. Hmm, can I even... How do I get to this? I'm going to have to go around because the other side I don't think works. Wait, where actually is it? We'll go around the mountain. And hopefully we don't run into any troll that, like, traps us. And we should be okay. All thistles I find, I'm going to have to go grab them. I think these are, like, carrot seeds. I'll take these as well. I can make carrot stew. That's why we need the cultivator. Is that more skeletons? Any troll, maybe? If I hit arrows, I'm just going to guess it's skeletons. But I've got quite a lot of those burial grounds. I don't fully need them yet. So let's just work on this. We have the goal for the video, okay? Stick to the goal. And farm as many supplies as we can while we explore. That's probably the best thing. 
hell is this? Skeletal remain. Oh. Coins. Thank you. Thank God it's not like a trap or something that just lands on my head. Two graylings. And a shaman. Let's just leave them be. There's a lot of them there, though. There's like the... How does he sniff me? Bro, he's sniffing me. What is that area? Is it anything special? I don't think it is. I think we're okay. Okay, hook the side of the mountain. We do not want to get frosted, though. That won't be good. Carrots. I don't think I need that many carrot seeds, because I think, if I remember correctly, I will plant the carrots, and then I farm the carrots, then I replant the carrots, and you, like, triple them that way. Or something along those lines. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, more mushrooms. Let's get as many as I can. I think we'll build the cauldron soon. I think it only required 10 tin. I've got loads of that, so that's okay. Keep hugging the mountain. Copper deposit. Should I mine any? I think I might as well. While I'm here, I might as well mine a bit while my pickaxe actually survives, because I don't need to mine anything else. So we'll mine a bit of copper for now before we go around. How much do I need is the question. I just need to make sure I don't get hit by no troll. It was in the uh, the last episode. I don't really know um, how many of you guys are watching every episode. I'm guessing most of you are. I'm guessing not many of you have just jumped onto the most recent one and are watching it. But I was mining one of these, bro, and a troll just comes sniffing out of the blue, man. And I'm just like, if I get caught, like, in this, how it goes down. If I get caught in that, I'm just dead, bro. Like, I just, I don't know how long this run's going to last, but I'm going to be very upset when it doesn't. Like, when it's over. Oh, just stop running away, moron. Critical hit dead. Also, if I have any copper again, let's mark this on the map. Uh, copper. Copper would be fine, easy to find, but it's just in case I need some. I've only got one. Do I hear another gray dwarf? I ah, caught me up with light and fire! Don't run. Just stay there. Humble. You're dead. Thanks for playing. Mine. It's just that I'm trying to remember, like, later on, I will require loads of bro- Oh, man, they're triggering me. The best way to mine this is to make a fire, and I just can't be off making a fire. Mine this already so I can kill him! How long was I chopping that for, bro? Die! Bro! I've been mining this piece for, like, 70 hits. And I didn't even- Yes, I did get a piece, thank God. We did as well, like... Oh, there we go. This is good now. How many have I got? Three now. Let's get, like, ten, maybe. Ten will be good. Like, every time I go to the... Oh, I just realized I'm wasting my daytime doing this. Um, My pickaxe is almost dead anyway, and that was kind of the plan. Just mine till the pickaxe broke. So we'll do that. We'll mine till the antler pickaxe breaks, and then we will... Uh, Wait, why do I... No, no, it's just because I'm going to need the bronze anyway at some point. Yeah, we'll mine till it breaks. I think we do that every time we run in. Should be good. Also, I don't have to run back to the base if I don't need to. Uh, I could just make a bed somewhere random in the forest. It's just it always says, like, enemies are nearby. And I'm just like, I can't be bothered killing them all when trying to sleep. But I, we could do that. I'm going to 11 planks. How have I got full inventory already? Two spaces. Three spaces. And five of those are going to be the troll hide. Oh, I thought it was a copper. Let's keep moving from the top. Can't wait to get a boat and start transporting iron down the rivers, mate. <laughs> Hate mining iron, but um, the good thing though about the actual iron when we get to that boss is actually finding the, the boss or whatever, you have to go through the crypts. And in the crypts, there's some of these chests that have like 20 like iron in it. It's so nice. Oh, wait, we've got 10 already. Right, I have 10 and I weigh 255. Let's just call it there. I'll come back to this. Let's continue. Trying to be a little efficient there. Next thing we know is we need 5,000 copper, and I'm like, oh, great, now I'm going to mine it all. But then I mined 10 every single time I went into the forest, and boom, already deposited all right. Easy game. So, again, we just hug this mountain. I think the mountain's already ending. It's a pretty shitty mountain. Deer? Anyway. I'll leave the deer, you know. Any thistles? Any thistles. So what am I doing right now? We're not really upgrading anything. We're just hunting trolls and getting secondaries and moving towards the elder. Oh, I'm almost at the elder already. I can't spawn it yet. But I'll set up like a little base camp there because I can make teleporters now. Is that a skeleton? Yeah, that's a skeleton. Maybe we stealth up. Wow, he got me from a while away. Don't worry, we'll parry him. Ready? Insane? Unbelievable. I think that's a bad block, actually. So this is going to be a skeleton crypt or something. And dead, maybe. 
Damn it. There was another one, I'm pretty sure, but I can't find it. I don't want to talk about that aim. I really don't. There's a raven. Should we take the raven out? Yeah, what kind of question was that, bro? Should we take the raven now? Of course we take the raven out. Oh my god, I was wondering what that was flying across the screen. Right, so uncleared. Uncleared. To be honest, I just realized I should probably clear these and get the teleporters. I think... Mm, oh, I, we can clear those at night. It's fine because let me get these stones. We can make a fire in... Oh, I've got loads of stone. Let's drop... Uh, 25 of them. Could have more copper, actually. Uh, we, we, if we get more molten cores, then... And we, I've got a few burial chambers already. Just like, I've walked past. If I get more molten cores, we can teleport around the game. And that'll just speed things up just ridiculously. So that might be a thing we should probably look into sooner rather than later. But let's go to the Elder first and just uh, have a little sniff around the area. Can't spawn him, of course. Can't kill him. But I, I have the bow already. So as soon as we actually find the three ancient seeds I think I need, we can actually just kill him. Because... I'll make some fire arrows. The bow's all I need. I don't need armor for him. Unless I make a mistake. Will I make a mistake? Probably. Will. Is that another one? Right, how many skeletons can we take out this time? Nice. Insta dead. Nice. Turns into a pile of bones. Oh my god, I actually... F oh, nice! Okay, I can see one. You see that purple thing in the distance? Right, dead. Health is... Wow! My health got rinsed. Oh, it's because I haven't got my stuff on. <gasps> Holy shit, I'm not even going to fight him. I don't feel rest anymore. Why do I lose my rested bonus when there's a two-star skeleton? That's no, 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 that's not good. How do I escape? I think that could honestly kill me in one shot. Especially at 68, we need to play smart. Oh, he's only going up in bits. I need to range him. Is he following me still? The Graylings are no problem. But now I need a rested bonus. <gasps> I've got an idea. Are we go in this crypt over here, go inside, get the rested bonus, and just come back out, and then all the graylings will be there. Kill them all, maybe, and then we just go on from there. Two-star skeleton. Nope, don't want to be messing with him. Let me into my burial chamber. Thank you, game. Yep, making sure it wasn't a uh, troll hideout or something. So we just whack the fire there, and then if I just rest, I get comfort bonus here. Of level three, and then we can continue the run. Nice, nice, nice. Right, what's next then? What's next? Eat dice up. Roughly try and mark that burial chamber, but then I saw those purple things. If I can get those purple things, then maybe at night when I'm leaving the forest, I might be able to spot another purple one quite easily. And if I can spot another one, we have all the seeds needed. We can just go kill the second boss, which gives me... What does it give me? I can't remember. Is that the level two skeleton? That's a level one. I'll kill him anyway. But... She a bones. Good run, brother. Right. Carefully does it now. One star. Should I see what damage he does? No, let's just kill him. Okay, so again, if I get the parry on it... Oh my god, there's loads. This is farm. Some stats. If I just parry him, it's pretty fast. Jerry is like... I could destroy it all for some stone later, I think. Right, I need to find that burial chamber that level 2 one was. I'll take him on right now. My health is now good enough to do it. I'm just... Hey! Nice, nice, nice. Eight. Let's go. Beautiful. Troll. We're upgrading ourselves to the maximum gear. Look at that movement, bro. Like, sometimes... Oh, oh is he safe spotted as well, mate? Wooks would be proud right now, bro. I didn't like I actually hit him. I heard that to the side. Stamina a little low. No, here he comes. I think I got quite a bit of damage off him. There we go. Right, how much health has he got? Half. Maybe if I can just, like, move in specific direction, I can just trick him to stay stuck. He's backing away. Free hits if he backs away, though. That's fine. Stamina back up. That's another five troll hide over there, bro. It's good. Finding a troll is like finding the dragon and fling. We mentioned on the first episode, finding the boars and all that. The troll is the dragon and fling. Particularly when it's my best in slot gear. Come back here! Stop going to your cave and fight! What kind of loser runs from a fight, bro? What do you mean? Should we try one? I'm going to try and parry it. I'm going to try and parry it. This is the worst idea of my life. Uh, never. 
do that again. Moron! Just run, just run, just run. Play smart, play smart. Don't even get anywhere. Anything hits me, I'm dead. It only takes one little miss hit and it's just over. We'll save in 30 seconds. Um, Wouldn't have minded that save like 40 seconds ago. Yes, he's gone away. Back away. And carefully does it. He threw that the other way, so there's another monster there, I think. One more shot and he's dead. Oh, man. All right. Note to self, no parrying trolls. Maybe it was just that big hit that he did, though. You know, when he did the, the slam down, that could be the one that did all the damage. Five troll high, two, two, five away. Nice. Okay, good. Health is fine. Bit of lag there. Some wood. Okay. One troll. Good. We get the, the, the cape now. Oh, no, I think I need 10 for the cape. If we can find one more troll in this run, I'll be happy. Blueberries. Yeah, all I've learned so far from this episode is no parrying trolls. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, I'll pour uncleared. Because I think that's a burial chamber as well. And then there was that... I saw the purple light in the distance somewhere and I've lost it. These thistles. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's going to be night time soon. I've got a decent rested bonus. Here we go. Right. So this is the second boss. And he's quite... Unless they changed him, he's quite simple to beat. Because you just like kind of move behind these pillars. And use the bow to kill him. That's why at the moment we're fine. Where is it? Burn that young. Right. So that's why the, every time we kill those purple things that I killed the last episode. You get an ancient seed. I need three of those. But where was it? I don't want to be... Killing loads of things for no reason because I'm on a time limit now until it's night time. No. Wait, what have I actually unlocked? So it's going to be over here, I think. Let's go. Wait, is it just me or is it like 700 grade or so? Why are there so many, bro? One down. <laughs> There's so many, bro. <laughs> Come on, get some combos in. Yes, look at the combo. <laughs> Yay! There was like a whole family of them, but now they're all dead, mate! Ill equipped! <laughs> Minus 10. Oh, I was gonna go for like a reverse parry there. Can I just brute him down? I think I can. Yeah, hey, brute down the brute. Let's go for the parry though. Oh, yeah, you damn right, you look away. Right, does he give me anything? I don't think so. No, oh, got a dandelion. This is looking very looted. Chest? Uh, leave the arrows. That's good. Amber. I've only got one deer. I have to get rid of it. Can always drop a bit of copper if you need it. I've got stones as well. But I think I want to move in this direction because I did see the purple. It wasn't unlocked on the map though. So if I kind of like cut across, I should be able to spot it and get it. And that's two out of three of the ancient seeds. And then so three out of three, we can take out the second boss. Mushrooms. I built the cauldron when we. Oh, is that it? That's just some fog. It's going to go night time in a moment, so it might be easier to spot. I'm just trying to work out. I looked down upon the skeleton, and the level 2 skeleton was coming at me, so I had to run away. That's what happened. This is a bit of a vantage point over here. Give me these blueberries. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, purple light, where are you? I should have marked it instantly. No, now I'm lost in the forest. I don't want to be lost in the forest. Bro, I can't find it anywhere. Maybe we should just... It should be so obvious when I actually do spot it. Maybe we move towards the burial thing. That level 2 skeleton might be there and we might be able to take him out. Let's try and get like 50 blueberries. 50 blueberries, as many thistles as possible as well. What do I have at the moment? 28. I weigh 263. I can drop some stones though. Alright. Burial chamber up here. Looking for purple light. It's gonna go dark. Wait, is this an another burial chamber? Oh, there he is. Okay. I think I blocked it. I'm not gonna risk 66. Is probably the end of the run. One hit. I'm dead. I don't know how strong that thing is, bro. No idea. Undeclared. No idea how strong that thing is. 66. It could have been like maybe one misplay there could have killed me. Is that it? 
Yes, nice, found him, finally, finally. Right, here we go, let's go. Level up the stamina. Was that a deer? In the black forest? I don't even know that could be done. Thistle, thistle, thistle. Thank you. All right, recharge the stamina. Just do exactly what I did last time, it was good. Oh, it's a shaman this time. Shaman, I think we can just do like, what's his like cooldown on the poison? So again, you see how he's not really doing anything right now? Okay, there he does. Okay, I got poisoned. Damage is not much at all, so it's fine. Okay. Half is fine. My ancient seed will be on the ground. Take the great wolf out of the game. And I'm going to get rid of... There it is. I don't want to care about the chat. Oh, I probably do on the trophy, actually. Uh, feathers, I'll get rid of. Right. Two ancient seeds. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And I'm by ocean. So, what I think I do now, 270, is I should probably try and build a bed and just sleep. Can I build a bed inside the, the actual... Let me go into one of these uncleared crypts and see if I can actually build a bed. I'm pretty sure it's going to say, like, enemies will be nearby. There's no way I can sleep in that, right? I feel like I should just not even bother. Just not even waste the time. No, I want the thistles, bro, and you're in the way, man. I'm sorry. Can you play? Thistle, thistle. Right. Um, while I'm here, I should honestly just go in there and maybe just make the portal. I need gray dwarf eyes and whatnot, and I've got it all on me, so I could probably build... Oh, no, I need to build the second side of the portal as well. But sleeping right now is probably what I need to do, so let's go try if this will actually work. I have 24 logs, 17 stone, so that's fine. I feel cold. I want to immediately get out now because I have the permanent debuff of cold on. And again, if I just run into any trolls or anything, it's just not going to be good for me. You are sheltered. Can I build the bed right here? So I need a crafting table. A bed. There are enemies nearby. Can I pull this off still? There are enemies nearby. I don't think it's ever going to work. Maybe if we just go kill them, though, I might get the ability to, like, find a window where there's no enemy nearby. Unless it's just set. Oh, I got it! Yes! Nice! Beautiful! So now we just sleep to the next day. And then, um... This is good. Right, this is good. Because now I did all that farming, but I don't have to run all the way back to my base now. And we can just continue our run right next to i mean i'm literally in a burial crypt i can't see anything though i'm stuck oh no 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 i'm actually stuck bro i'm not joking i'm actually stuck can i go in the crypt i can't get this angle oh no oh no oh no i can't get the angle maybe it's close i'm getting like a no clip hit how do I crouch? Can't crouch at that one, maybe. Okay. Bro, what if something comes and kills me? Okay, I'm in the chamber, but can I get out the chamber? Let's try that. I didn't know this would happen, bro. There's probably some, like, six middle finger. If I go six and a middle mouse button, I might be able to get it straight away. So let's go six in. Spam click it. <sighs> Got it. Got it. Ooh, that was scary. Scary. Okay, we're good, though. We're good. Okay, delete that. What are we doing? Uh, Elders down there. How do I make a portal? Two circling cores, 20 fine wood, and 10 gray dwarf eyes. Now, I have a fine wood bow, and that means I found my fine wood in the dark forest, so I can get that. The two circling cores and the rest, I think I should be fine in getting all that. So let's build ourselves a one of these chests quickly, right here. And now we get fine wood. Fine wood was from pines. Get 20 of those. We go into the burial chamber, which should hopefully have some circling cores. Find some of those. And then kill two gray dwarves, get the eyes, make the portal. And then if I go back to my base, I can get the supplies again going to the base. Oh, this is core wood. I need fine wood. Damn it. Ah, I've been bamboozled, bro. What are you, mate? You're a tree, bro. And now you're a dead tree, bro. 
Right, we need to still find the merchant, but right now, probably, again, the mountain is... This was the mountain, right? So what's this? Is this is the ocean? Maybe I hook the ocean now and go back, but I'm miles away, but I need to find one of those purple things. Hello, dear. Can we run into him? Nope. <gasps> I actually got to him. I can't even take the deer hide. I should probably go back to my base now. I think we should, uh... No. Wait, yes, this is what we do. I have two circling cores at the base. I weigh 234. Let's clear out the burial chamber, get the circling cores, head back to the base, build a portal, and then we head all the way back here by fort, build another portal, find the last ancient thing, and then we can kill the boss. That's probably what we should do. Now this chest here, we can build the portal around here, so let's get some space to do this next bit. And I'll put all those in there as well. All right, let's go clear out the burial chamber. Do 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 do. Rested bonus is good. One star. Oh my goodness, God. Uh, I'm leaving this four of them. I would rather not take four on at once, particularly with the one star. That is a little scary. Right. Reheal to the max. I will go back in in a second. So I'm gonna have to try and work out how to do this. I'm a little scared. Because if I go in here, they might all just instant be right in front of me. Okay. Just take him out. Take him out of the game. One down. Two down. Okay, good. Strategy so far was good. There's more and I knew it. Okay, that's three, but the one star's still alive. Two one stars. One's dead. They're all looking the wrong way. This is good. Ooh. Rubies or something. Nice. One star. Health is fine. How much damage does a one star do? 16 or something. And this isn't a one star here. But I've got a different way here, so let's just do all the right turns I've done here. Certainly cause. Certainly cause. Come on, show me some red. Show me some red. This place sucks. Let's come in and kill 20 skeletons for nothing. Bro, the only reason I'm invading their house is to make some money off certainly cause. <gasps> Dead instantly. Health is fine. Wait, that's the bone pile. Or was there a ghost there as well? I think there was a ghost. Evil bone pile. <gasps> oh, there's two of them. Right, nice. Let's go. Needs a good loot. Give me the ambush. Amber. Amber pearl. That thing. Ruby. Chest as well. Coins. Feathers is a decent amount. I should probably take them. Two circling cores. Right, now I have enough to build the smelter and the other thing, but I don't think... <gasps> He's not even looking. This is not good. This is generally not good. Please just give me the crit. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this guy's a coward. Coward skeleton. He's running from me, bro. He's terrified. He's luring me. Literally rot right now, bro. There's ancient bases behind that door. Thank God that guy wasn't on me as well, mate. He was merciful. If I had to deal with the two star at the same time. Oh my God. God, I am literally in the middle of making a Valheim video and some guy has just donated me 500 bits on Twitch. Basically sending in a huge gacha. So there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Whoever you are, sir, thank you very much for the donation. However, can I just say, holy selling cars, bro. Oh, mate, I can make smelters and teleporters. Bro, it's going to be an efficient day from now on. Two rubies as well. Coins. Give me those. Seven cores. And I didn't even clear this whole dungeon out. I think I cleared out the first turn I did. Yeah. So now we do the second half. I think the last time I did this, though, this... Oh, there's another door on the side. Let's do the lefts now. I mean, how many cores can I get from one dungeon? Let's probably get yellow mushrooms as well. Hello, chum. And yeah. You mean that? You mean that? What is that ghost? How powerful? Weak. Very bad. I'm hitting nothing though. It's fine. I can brute force him down. Definitely resistant as shit to my club though, bro. That took a lot of hits. One, two, amber pearl, amber pearl, three. <laughs> Balls. Like I'm telling you now, in about 20 minutes, the rest of this playthrough, I can teleport everywhere and speed things up drastically. The only downside is I can't teleport with copper, but I could teleport... Wait, was that it? That was it, right? 
I think it was, yeah. Let's go on. I can teleport to the copper, mine it, and then run it back, and then teleport back and do that, maybe. I can speed everything up, basically. I see a skeleton through that door. Let's do left. Hello, mate. How many stars? Zero? <laughs> I don't even have to panic, bro. <laughs> Zero stars, mate. Go back to the academy and go train, Mr. Skeleton, bro. Oh, my God. Take the bone pile up. Stars. Health is fine. More cores. Boom! One. Really not even worth my time, bro. Ruby. Loads of feathers. Amber. Bro, these places are bank. <gasps> Didn't take it. No room in inventory. What are we sacrificing? Yeah, it's over, my guy. No room in inventory. For Amber. 20 out of 20. What's Amber Pearl? I don't know what's better. What is all good stuff? I ain't got one, man. I don't give a shit about you. I'll get another one there. More pearls. Again, I don't know how much they're worth. Go tell that guy now later on that he's actually got into the video. Uh, I'm lost. I think when I say I'm lost, though, I cleared everything. I'm pretty sure anyway I cleared everything. Because I go left here and I should be at the entrance. Right, let's grab this mushroom. Call that. Hey, I'm going to run back to the base. I might as well. Hey, wait, hold on. Let me wear this out. If I run back to the base... Um, I might find some copper on the way. My thing's about to break. I need a roof. I can't it. I think what I should do... Leave all this here because I'm going to come back to it. Take my 11 circling cores. Do my stuff. I should definitely run back to the... Yeah, let's run back to the base. Because I've got my troll hide as well. How do I get that quick though? I'm going to hook the ocean. I just run to the ocean and hook that because we'll unlock it. And if I get very lucky, we'll find a troll on the way. Oh, eek fire, brother. Yes. Nice. I don't know if that was the sound of my thing, but I swear I heard like a little sound of a control. No room in inventory. Wait, I dropped my thistles? Where did I drop my thistles? Am I a moron? No, they're in a chest. Don't panic. Uh... I kind of need thistles, so I need to get rid of something here. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I know what to do. We go back, put down stuff that I'm not taking in the chest, and then we take the thistles and the mushrooms out. Yes, we'll do that. So let's get rid of all the expensive stuff, and then we take blueberries, thistles, mushrooms, ouch, and then we go back. And then we can take those all the way. And then, uh, yeah, we have the poles and lots. It's going to be beautiful. Blueberries, thistles, thank you, blueberries. How many blueberries do I have? 35. Try and get 50 blueberries. Grey Dwarf Eyes, I need these for the teleporters as well. I saw a chest there. Any loot? I just deposited all the amber. You know what, mate? You can stay. I have enough. I don't really know what I need money for in this game, except for the merchant to buy the um, the cape thing. I don't think that the teleporters will come in handy for finding the merchant, to be honest. Because the merchant, I think we just want to run as much Black Forest as possible. It's going to leave him be. I don't really care. Let's get thistles instead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! You got it. Yay! You got it. Big copper deposit. I kind of want to put it on the map. It's really close to where I could put a boat as well. It's a good one. Q. Copper. I think it's a good idea to be like annotating my map of where things are because it will come in handy later. Particularly when I've got all the things uncleared, but I don't think I need to do many burial chambers. Um, there's one thing as well that I'm barely through this run. But when I did my other hardcore run, I also made it a goal to get every trophy in the game. And I think I got them all except for... I think it was the serpent was the only one I didn't get. But I remember there might have been one that was in like the mountain range that wasn't possible to get. But I still think I got that. There's like a Fenrir. I got that one. Unless it was the... No, I can't remember. We get to, but I might actually add that in. If we beat all five bosses, I might try and beat the game and get all the trophies as well without dying. Because things like the, the biomes, some of them will be very, very hard to get, particularly without dying a single time. Uh, but only after I beat the whole game. If I beat the whole game. 41 blueberries. So many supplies. Rested. I've kind of wasted my ether. I don't know. Ooh, thistles. Uh, I could probably get a rested bonus by putting a fire down, but I think it'll just... Oh, man. That's even worse. So now I can't because my fire would just go out unless I build a roof on it as well. But this is where I need to kind of not find a troll. 
Unless I killed it really, really slow with range. It's just my stamina would be so slow. It'd be like fire one arrow, wait 20 minutes, and then fire another arrow. And then wait another 20 minutes. Repeat until he's dead. It's worth it. Because these five troll hides I got on me, I don't think they actually do anything until I get hold of... Wait, where's my bed? My bed's there, right? I swear my bed used to be on the map. Has it been destroyed? Unless it's because I set another bed down here. Yeah, okay, maybe it switched him. That's okay, no, I'll just switch it back. Oof, not too bad. Oop, hello there, Bluebirds. Thank you, brother. Okay, I think we're about to get back into this. Looks like meadows to me. Meadows, okay, so... Are there trolls in the meadows? No, I believe not, so I think we're okay. We're next, though. Might need to farm more neck hides, but if I do make the cauldron, I think I can start making better food than what I've got. And will it come in handy? Uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm going to need before we go into the swamp. A lot of stuff. Um, what do I need? I need a lot of po anti-poison potions. I know that. Right, where's my base? It should just be straight in front of me. Somewhere right there's my charcoal kill. Look at him, bro. He's a happy one. I like him. Oh, I'm scratching myself. I need to stop. Right, we're here. First thing we're going to do is open this chest, deposit the logs, deposit the circling cores. Then we're going to breathe. And I'm going to get rid of some stuff. For oh, no, I've got the copper as well to get rid of. So let's get rid of the copper. Now I've got a load of space. So let's just get all this charcoal. Whack all this in here as well. I only have six logs. No, I've got loads of logs. Six. Destroy that. 25 in there. That in there. Repair everything quickly. Only the axe. Now, I can't really get anything yet, so should I get the cape or should I upgrade something first of all? I think we get the cape uh, before I do anything. So, where is it? Is it troll hide cape? Is 10 of them? Yeah, so I'll just deposit this to the side. And uh, I'll get around that to that later. Now, ancient seed, I've got two out of three, I think. And then this is like my food thing. Let me change this to all my potion making shenanigans. That goes in there. That goes in there. So I'm really bad at the order here. Mom's putting them in. Did I deposit my coins? I don't think they weigh anything. Oh, they do. And then feathers. There's a lot of feathers in there. Let's get rid of those. I got seeds in here anyway. So let's whack them in there. That's good. Right, okay. I think I rested sort of a fresh day. First things first. Certainly cause out. Six. Open. Crafting. I would like to build myself a... I mean, maybe I just make myself a charcoal kiln and get double the... No, because I could be permanently making myself bronze and shit at the same time. So let's do that. Stone. 50. 30 back. And now we can build ourselves a smelter as well anywhere i'll do if i can get it valid placement why just put it anywhere i don't care i'll do look at him and i will put in i'll just put in 10 of these and again we'll put the charcoal and those will be permanently now just working at the same time while i'm gone from the base making myself bars that i will need later on so now I can deposit that. Carrot seed. Certainly cause. Grey dwarf eyes. The fine wood. I've got 18. So now I actually need to kill grey dwarves. Or graylings, I think. So every time we find one, good. But is this a big oak tree? Because I need fine wood, I think. That's a big tree. But I think we can make ourselves a portal here. Let me just get the rest of debuff first. Dear. See, I'm in a stage where I just can't bother with the day, bro. I want to chop this tree and run and get a rested thing and then cut more trees. 
I get myself a portal set up. Hello? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no! <gasps> bro! Freaking shitty like that hot log roll from Mario 64 right there, bro. That could have been the end. Let's find some acorns. Acorns, what do they grow? Oak trees, right? Yes, 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 yes. No, I even question that. Don't like how this is on top of something. Oh, man, that was scary, bro. Thought that was the end. So death coming towards me. I actually wonder if that would have killed me. I think I might have been like a, a millimeter from death there. Let's get this one up here. Regular wood. Yeah, this is the fine wood, right? I think it is. I'm really doing this bad. I could literally, the time it would take me to run over to the other one and quickly get the rest of the debuff and then come back would be just so worth it. Because I also have the debuff on me. This is the fine wood. Good. How many did I get? 15. Good. So if I do this one, I think I can just make a portal. And then we have the first portal. <laughs> then what we can do with the portals, the portals, uh, again, we'll run around. But once I do find a good area to build my base, we can just put a portal there and I can start transferring everything. I can't transfer ores, but the ores aren't really too much of a priority. I can leave the ores down here for now until I have to use them. Oh, no, because then I can't transfer the bars back. I mean, this isn't really a bad place, to be honest, because I do have this where I could bring something to it. Wait, six, open. What's a ward? Oh, it prevents other players? Yeah, I'm not online, am I? Coin pile, coin stack, cartography table. I literally have no idea what that is. That was not in the game when I uh, played before. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a portal, my friends. How are we doing, Hugin? Are you bring tidings, my boy? Portals are great for fast travel between different parts of the world. Of course, you need to build one at the other end as well. Then give the pair the same name and they'll automatically be connected. So I'm going to do portal one for this for now. And I think a good idea is always note where they are. That's all right. If that thing hits me, I'll just kill it. Not. Right. This is a grayling. These don't give me gray dwarf eyes. It has to be a gray dwarf for it. Resin, these got me. So they're garbage. Gray dwarfs, I actually want to start killing now. Ooh, other than that, we're good. Two of those, more cores, and everything is looking nice and happy right now. I'm pretty good. That's some good progress today. I'm happy with that. I'm going to whack in some of these things, and then uh, I'm going to go to bed, start a new day. Wait, what? I swear I had more logs than that. Oh, I accidentally deposited them. Get as many of those as possible. 47 logs. Just whack these back in here. Withdraw that. Copper out again. Pick up all my coppers. I think I weigh too much to grab them right now. Turn here. Smelter in. Give me all the copper ore. Deposit all this into here. Everything speeds up now. This changes everything. This changes everything. Guys, thank you all very much for watching episode 5. The portals are unlocked. In the next episode, I think what we'll do is we'll continue our troll hunting, but we should be able to take down the second boss with absolutely no problem at all. All I do is place a portal here. It might clear out these areas here, and then I just need to get one more ancient seed, and we're good. So we'll just search all this ancient, like, big forest area, and hopefully we'll find the merchant. It should be good. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you all in episode 6. The hardcore still stands. It's only a matter of time until we lose it, though.